general role of a publicist is basically to devise a publicity plan that will achieve the greatest amount of exposure for their clients in a variety of different mediums, which could include consumer magazines, trade magazines, newspapers, internet sites, radio stations, network talk shows, celebrity parties, and special events, all with the general purpose rather, of gaining acceptance, increasing sales, and popularity. However, what most new artists fail to understand is that publicists actually cost money. And they can cost anywhere from $500 to maybe sometimes $3,000 and much more a month. So with that said, until an artist can afford to pay for a publicist, Lisa, can you please tell us what are some of the basic tips that you'd suggest for new and developing artists that they can actually do on their own in regards to developing their own publicity plan and following through? determining their target audience, sending out packages, putting together press lists, following through, and being realistic that publicity should be generated over a long term. It's not something that you go, okay, we send it all the package, we make calls for one month, and we're just gonna sit back and wait for it to happen. It's something that constantly happens. Can you explain? As an up and coming developing artist, PR is a constant ongoing process. The best thing to know is your local market. Start out with local newspapers. Do you know who covers your space? Do you know who the critics are? Do you know what papers are likely to pay attention to you? Uh, who does the concert reviews? Who does the disc reviews? Who does news stories? If you can see in your daily paper, in your weekly paper, in your market, and learn that market, you already have the beginning of developing a bit of a database for yourself. You don't need to know who the big TV bookers are because it's too soon. Networking. Really the key word here is networking. Getting to be as involved as you can as a musician with other musicians and whatever publishing or company that you're working with, if you're joining ASCAP, if you're joining BMI, get to know what's going on in those areas. Get to know what the venues are where you're going to be playing so that you can meet everybody and as we were all talking get to know that, that business. Most of the critics will go there. Figure out who they are. It's not easy. So now you have your list together, okay? Now we have to get, what? Packages to the people? Mm -hmm. Any recommendations in setting up the packages? Yes. Um, the packages should be pretty simple. You got your disc, you've got a press release, if, if you can write one, or at least some sort of letter stating who you are, what you're doing, a background on yourself, and if you have any press coverage, make notes of it. Let it be written down that so-and-so from this publication has said this about you. That's very important. What you don't need, you don't need elaborate photos. Don't do that to yourself. It's a waste of your money and your time. Nobody keeps them. And most places just use JPEGs now anyway, so it's, it's useless to spend money on print. Can you talk about the procedure in which to actually send something to an editor? Should you contact them first? Should you email them first? Should yes. they expect your package? Yes. Can you talk about that yeah. as well? Um, blindly sending unsolicited packages is never advisable to anything. Uh, it's just wise in the trash. Again, that goes down to research. Everything in this, in PR, is relationship related. So, as Mike said, he likes to be friends with the people he works with. Well, in a small way, you need to befriend the people that you're pitching. There's nothing worse than being greeted by somebody who desperately wants from you but has no clue who you are. So get a sense of what's out there and do an outreach. If you've read stories that they've written, always a big flag. Read a story that somebody's written that sounds like a style that you've done. And just follow up, hey, loved your piece on such and such, it's awesome. I'm playing a show or I'm doing this. Would you mind if I sent you my materials or my information? Would it be all right if I include you in my mailing list? Ask, because otherwise they are getting spammed beyond belief and they resent it. Let's talk about the follow-up. You do have to follow up, and sometimes they may like your stuff but don't have the time to call you. Uh, don't harass them, don't call them every day. Drop them an email, leave them a voicemail message, but do make the effort to follow up. It may take them three or four times to hear from you before they respond. If they don't respond after six calls, stop calling them. That is their answer. It is no. Okay, great.
Bobby wants to make sure you've got it down. Key points in review. The best way to find an attorney is through personal referrals. Ask other bands and industry pros you trust. Management must always begin with the artist first. Work at honing your songwriting skills, develop a plan of attack, and build a strong following. Until generating a profit from your live performances, talent agents are generally not an option. Build your hometown following by booking yourself, promoting creatively, and playing alternative venues. Hiring a publicist can be expensive, but by starting out with your local paper, networking, and following up, there's a great deal you can do on your own.